everyone, it's Lisa Joy Young, and today I have a different kind of video for you. I'm gonna be sharing tips, tricks, and techniques to being successful at painting wiggly children or children who are under three. I know a lot of face painters absolutely refuse to paint children who are under three because they move too much or for whatever reason, and I think that's kind of sad because they want in on the fun too. And also, you might be disappointing potential clients who are the parents that are excited about getting their child's face painted. So I'm gonna show you how I handle children who are wiggly or really young, and hopefully those tips will help you guys out too. And don't get me wrong, if the child is crying and scared and the parent is trying to force you to paint them, which happens a lot more than you would expect, you need to put your foot down and say, no, your child isn't enjoying this, I'm really sorry, but maybe when they're older, they can come back and get painted. But for right now, they're not ready. I will never paint a crying child. I've had parents try to pin their children down. Ridiculous, please don't paint them. The first and most important tip for being successful is to have a set of designs that you have that are easy for you to paint, don't require a lot of outlining, and will work even if your canvas is moving around. Don't be afraid to tell the parent, no, I'm sorry, that design's a little too complicated for your child, but I can do any of these designs instead. Um, I say no to my clients all the time, and they're okay with it because I give them options. Another tip is to have the child sit in the parent's laps. They'll be more comfortable that way because they are so little and um, usually that'll help them to hold still too. It's important to keep a really calm and soothing environment to help them relax. And um, if you're a male face painter, some of the techniques I show, you have to be careful with because um, it does involve a lot of touching. And unfortunately, parents can get a little creeped out by a dude touching their kids the way I do here. Um, if you're a female, you have nothing to worry about. People are fine with it. Um, but use touching and a soothing voice to keep the child relaxed. So I'm gonna be doing a demo for you on my two-year-old son. And uh, he is very wiggly. He actually did a lot better here than I expected him to. But I'll be showing you all the different tips and techniques that I have right now. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to paint this little guy and we're gonna do a tiger on him today because it's nice and easy, it's quick, you don't need any outlining or any straight lines at all. So that's a good option to do for him. And I have a feeling this might not get uploaded. It might be a disaster, but we shall see. Okay. All right, so the first step is going to get um, the child to feel nice and comfortable. So. We're gonna stroke uh, their face. Are you ready to get your face painted? Um, it's gonna be so fun. You wanna calm them and relax them by stroking their face like this. Okay, are you ready? Hi. All right. All right, I highly suggest using rainbow cakes on little one because it'll be a fast way to give it a nice I blended effect. And I'm using a Krivlin rainbow cake called the Bright Tiger. It's yellow and neon orange and dark orange. And this one's special to me because I designed it. So that's so awesome. I'm a representative for Krivlin, which is super exciting. And this is a rainbow cake that I designed called Bright Tiger. So we're gonna be using this on him. All right, so relax, calm down, and then just go as fast as you can while maintaining a calm environment. Good job. Holding so still. Oh, good job. And I avoid eyes on little ones, so I don't ever paint their eyes. Oh, good job. You can get your nose. Good job, holding so still. So he is so far, he's actually doing shockingly well. But if they're um, starting to get distracted or wiggly, you can give them a reboot by showing them their reflection in the mirror. Look at what you did so far. We got your colors on. Now we have to do your stripes. All right, can we do your stripes? Okay, let's work on your stripes. 
All right, so um, before we do his stripes, I'm gonna paint his eyes. And as you can see, my white has some yellow on it. That's actually not a big deal. You can wipe it off if you want, but I'm just gonna put it right on my brush because the white's so strong that it's just gonna absorb whatever color was on there. And I'm using a chisel brush, and this is the Paradise Chisel Brush. That's my favorite one. Now when I'm painting small children, I usually talk about which um, part of their face I'm painting so I don't startle them in any way. And it also kind of keeps them from being too wiggly. And like I said, I always avoid the right around their eye. I paint over their eye. Okay, we'll put on your tiger eyes, okay? Close your eyes. Good job. Good job. So just do just simple, simple, simple on little children. That's good enough for little kids. Up, flick. Up, flick. And up. Oh, good job. Holding so still. Just try to keep them very relaxed. I like it. The tiger. If you want to, if they're being extra wiggly, in between your strokes, you can go, get out your wiggles. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Are you ready to start? We're gonna do your stripes. First, your nose. Boop, boop, boop. Remember to keep it really simple. Okay, so we're gonna go thin, thick, and thin. Thin, yeah. thick, and thin. Now, if I was painting an older child, I might put more detail into this, but since he is so little, I'm just gonna do my most simple tiger that I have. Okay. Yeah. Now your cheeks, are you ready for your cheeks? <laughs> for these tiger stripes. Make them kind of wiggly. Nope. And when you have your hand on the child's head, it makes it really easy for you to tell when they're about to move because you can feel it. So just remember to pull your brush away as fast as you can once you feel their head start to move. Okay, and that's it. Just really fast, really simple. Keep a calm environment, and you should be just fine painting kids under three. I hope that that was helpful for you guys, and I will see you again soon in another video. If you haven't done so already, check me out on Facebook. Um, the link to that and all the products I used, as well as where you can purchase the products, are listed down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you again soon. Bye. <gasps>
Um, so I thought that I would just record how I take <laughs> off um, stubborn black paint from kids' faces. And blues and teals, are, or not blues, but teals are also hard to get off sometimes, and greens. So the first part I already started on, which is taking a wet wipe and getting off as much as you can. So I pretty much did that. That's where I stopped when I decided to start recording. So everything I can get off with the wet wipe is off. So now what I do is I take a coconut oil. You can use any oil, baby oil, olive oil. I just like the way coconut oil smells and it's nice and healthy and gentle for sensitive skin. So just get a chunk of it and melt it on your hands. And then I just rub that on the face like this. Just rub it in anywhere where the paint is. And they don't usually like it, but oh well. It's part of getting your face painted, dude. It's all part of it. Now I'm gonna take another wet wipe and kind of wipe off what was on my hands onto the wet wipe. And later if you need to put more oil on there, you can. But now it'll be much easier to get off. So if you see, it actually, um, it comes off now. The oil dissolves the paint. So just gently, so you don't scrub their skin raw. Take off the rest of that paint. this on there and um, he is so over this by the way but if you don't let them sleep in it like I let him sleep in it it won't be this difficult <laughs> to get off I'm just gonna get off the last reminders <laughs> what's hard than face painting a two-year-old, getting the paint off of a two-year-old. My experience is much harder. Chill out, dude. All right, so there you go, mostly clean. Some of that might be dirt. I don't know, he was working out in the garden with daddy. So, all right, thanks for watching. Hello. Say thanks for watching. Hi, Chica, hi,